This is a great little accent for your table, or it would make a really great gift. So first you're going to need to cut off a little piece of contact paper. Uh, it doesn't really matter the size, you just wanna make sure that it's going to cover your um, jar or the area of your snowflake. Now you can use any glass uh, that surface that you want to. This could, would work on a glass tile, it would work on a mason jar, any kind of bottle. Here I'm using a glass votive, and I've already covered it with uh, some of the contact paper. So you can see that right here. It's hard to see because it's clear, but this is going to serve as the resist for your etching material. Now here I have printed out a little snowflake pattern and I got this off of my Photoshop. Um, you can draw a pattern yourself or you can also download one from the internet. And I've applied double stick tape to the back of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down onto the front of our glass votive, right over the top of the contact paper. So just kind of center that and position that. Make sure that that's good and anchored down. And then come in with a craft knife and you're going to cut out all the way around your snowflake. Take your time, be precise. Now you're cutting through a couple different layers, so it's gonna take some pressure there. But just take your time, be real careful because obviously the blade is very sharp, so you don't wanna cut yourself. Okay. I'm gonna go all the way around this snowflake. Now once you've gone all the way around your snowflake, cutting it out with your craft knife, you're gonna use your craft knife to lift up and remove the snowflake and some of those areas may tear a little bit that's okay but what you want to make sure is what you're leaving behind is actually the glass surface make sure that you cut between all or cut through all of the layers of paper and tape and then of course the uh, contact paper you want to make sure that you're cutting through it as well and Really, it's those corners. Make sure you get those corners nice and cut there so that your edges will lift up real easy. So now what you're gonna do, just like I'm doing here, is you're going to remove the snowflake from the pattern. Now that I have the snowflake completely removed, we're ready to etch and put on the etching cream. Now it's always a good idea to just kind of double check and make sure that you've removed all of uh, the areas that you want to edge make sure it's all the way down to the glass and then come in with your with your etching cream and I'm just going to use a makeup sponge here make sure you don't get this on your skin because it's very caustic it'll burn your skin you can even use some rubber gloves if you need to and you can see I'm just daubing this on really generous make sure that you get all those areas of the snowflake covered with the etching cream. And make sure that you don't go over and get etching cream on any of the other surfaces that you haven't protected with the uh, contact paper. So we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. And I'm going to wash this completely with water and we'll come back and finish. So I've removed all of the contact paper and all of the excess um, paper that was left behind. And you can kind of see right in through here, you can see a little bit of that etched area. It's not going to show up real well while it's wet. So don't worry about it. If it doesn't show up right away, as it dries, it shows up. And we're going to make this show up even more right now. So what I'm going to do, whoops, is I'm going to come in with an alcohol marker and I'm just going to color over this etched area. This is really cool. This kind of makes it a little distressed. But because we have um, an area on the glass that's been etched, it's actually going to grab this ink. And we can come over then with a baby wipe and we can reveal our snowflake here. Let that dry for a little bit. 
Now the more you rub over your snowflake, the more distressed the pattern is. Now you can see that it shows up. And we're going to go in and add the final details. If you like a little bit of bling, of course you could stop here if you don't like it uh, quite so blingy. But I love bling and I think when I think of snowflakes I think of lots of glisten and sparkle. So I'm going to come in with some stickles and I'm just going to draw in some little snowflake marks like this. Now the only thing left to do is add a couple little rhinestones and you're finished. Mm -hmm.